What's up everyone and welcome to Andy Smith Horror. In this video we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the BAM Horror subscription box for June. Let's jump into the video. Welcome back everyone. If this is your first time here, I do want to welcome you. My name is Andy and this channel has everything to do with horror collectibles, horror movie reviews, and even mystery boxes. Anything to do with horror, if that interests you, you should definitely consider subscribing. Alright, so this month's box is featuring the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is honestly one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. That 1974 is such a classic. And then we have The Walking Dead, Annabelle, and 13 Ghosts. So it's a pretty good box, hopefully. Hopefully we get some cool items in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into this thing. Alright. It's going to try to keep it kind of spoiler free. We have this sheet that is in here. And let's see. It feels like I got the pin. All right. I'm going to try to show it to you all first. Hopefully that focuses. Oh, oh, okay. So it is that little evil Annabelle bitch. All right. So it looks like that's the pin we got this month. Oh, man. That's a pretty cool one. I like it. I mean, it, it kind of looks a little weird, but I, I like it. I like it. All right, on to the next item. What do we have? Looks like maybe the card. All right. So here we go. Check the card out. Okay. Hmm. Not really 100% sure, I have to be honest. Pretty cool looking though, right? All right, so on to the next item. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sheet out now. The little BAM sheet. Hope you are enjoying this so far. It's always fun opening these BAM boxes. I have not really ever had a bad experience, so. Oh, okay. It's a match three and win a giveaway. So I'll scratch that off towards the end of the video. I'll save it towards the end of the video. And if you're returning here, you are a current subscriber. I hope you're liking the setup. Hope you're liking this audio a little bit better. Um, and I'm slowly, you know, everything in the background. I'm gonna, it's all gonna come together over the next few months and look pretty badass, honestly. So hopefully you do like it. All right. Didn't mean to look at that first, but this is our print and it's going to be Leatherface. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool print, actually. Let me know what y'all think about that. I don't know if there's a bad glare on that currently. <laughs> Um, if there is, you'll be seeing some B-roll footage right now of a good shot of this. But yeah, honestly, it looks, that's a pretty good print. Okay. And what else do we have in here? Something. Uh, okay. Hmm. So we have a key, some kind of key. Yeah, definitely not 100% sure what this is. Maybe I should know. Um, sometimes I feel, you know, like I should know a lot of these items. But there's a lot of horror movies out there, guys. All right, so this is probably the last item in here. It should be our autograph. And it's going to be... Uh, definitely looks like The Walking Dead. Yeah, it says The First Walker. Um, so if you can see that, it says First Walker. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not I'm not 100% sure who this is. I was trying to think who that might be, but mm, it's hard to know with the autograph. Um, it's hard to guess that one for sure. Maybe you know right off the bat, and if you do, let me know in the comment section below. But what we're actually about to do is go ahead and look at this cheat sheet and just get a, a little description of every item we have here and take one final look at it. All right, so another good BAM box, it seems. That was, uh, I like the pen, probably my favorite item, and the Leatherface print is really cool. I actually do like that print. All right, so it looks like our featured celebrity is going to be Addie Miller. So if you know her, um, I'm sure this is going to be a pretty cool item for you to be receiving. From The Walking Dead, Behind You, and Dark Places. I've never been a huge Walking Dead fan, to be honest with you, so um, I, I wouldn't know her, but... It's cool. It looks like she's maybe is the first walker. That's if that's true. That's pretty cool. All right. So here is the July monthly giveaway. Check that out. 
you can scan that code or go to the yeah you would scan the code there and somehow you can do the monthly giveaway never done one of the monthly giveaways but that would be pretty cool all right so here is the real the cheat sheet kind of goes over everything we received in this box so celebrity autograph although this character was extremely short-lived she led one of the most iconic the walking dead scenes as the first zombie to grace rick grimes presence this month we add Addie Miller's autograph to our Undead collection. Hey, that's that's pretty cool. So she really was the first walker. That's pretty badass, honestly. All right, and then the collector's pin, which is the Annabelle pin. The collector's pin. I'll be the first to admit that I had a very real fear of dolls growing up. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Perhaps the creepiest of them all was Annabelle. This month, artist Brian Romero created one design that we then formed into a collectible matching set with red and black pins. So, I'll show you the level up pins. They actually look pretty cool. Honestly, they look badass. I'd much rather have one of the level up pins and maybe I can find one of those on eBay at some point. Or if you're watching this and you do get one of the level up pins, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe we can work something out. The Artist Alley, which is the Leatherface print. Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre will always hold a special place in our hearts as one of our favorite or least favorite murders. New artist Derek Vukic brings us his terrifying rendition of the slasher. Alright. And there's your good final look at this Leatherface print, which is, honestly, it's pretty badass. That's a good print. It's a good job. Alright, and then the prop item, this was, I really am definitely not sure about this. This month's prop key is not one we're tempted to use. Enjoy this replica of Cyrus Key to Mansion of Horrors from 13 Go. See, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's probably laughing uh, watching this video. That should definitely know that. But it's been a long time since I've seen 13 Ghosts. Um, so that's pretty cool, though. If you like 13 Ghosts, that's a, a pretty cool item, I think. Artist Select card, this is, if anyone has a fear of children, it may have slightly spawned from Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, also in circulation, are more hand-drawn, one-of-one sketch cards featuring more Stephen King villains by artist Trey Baldwin. And that's that sketch card. Alright, so that's, that's pretty cool um, from Pet Cemetery. Another one I have not seen in a long time, so always throwing in some good, good horror movies in here that, I mean, are popular, and a lot of them I forget about, to be honest with you. So let's do this match three and win giveaway um never have won i've seen a few people win but never been lucky so let's see what we can do all right so here we go yeah i hope everybody did enjoy that box and again if this is your first time here to the channel um and you like horror content you should definitely consider subscribing to this channel um you know i'm an absolute huge horror fan and I'm going to be putting out some really more personal videos here in the next few weeks that will, you know, detail what got me into all this and why it means so much to me. But yeah, I'm doing the match three win a giveaway. I'm probably not going to win shit, to be honest with you. And it looks like no. Not a chance today. Not winning. All right, so definitely let me know what you think in the comment section below. Overall, I think this was a pretty good horror subscription box. If you're looking... To get any kind of horror mystery box, BAM is going to be by far the best. Um, you could go to the BAM website and try to subscribe for this horror box, but I've heard it's pretty hard. I've been on it for a little while now, um, at least since maybe February or March. And ever since then, though, it seems like it's been really hard to try to uh, get the subscription for this. But you can definitely check the BAM website and maybe email them and see what you can do. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you again in the next one.